So this is the new Arduino Uno R4. This is the full version with Wi-Fi. And the thing that was hidden when we did the first announcement is this array of LEDs. It's a, it's a little screen that you can control programmatically. When you plug it in the first time, there is a surprise. I'm not gonna ruin the surprise, but something happens. Surprise! And we thought, hey, why? If you have a, if you have a display like this, you can display waveform, you can display text, uh, you can actually write debugging information if you want to. I mean, this thing could become like a little spectrum analyzer if you want to, or things like that. And you got a Wi-Fi, finally USB-C. You know, the education market really like the big chunky connector but you know USB-C is the modern connector also this allows to actually get some interesting voltages out of the USB-C for robotics project so this is directly compatible with a Sparfan Quick so you can connect a string of uh, sensors and so this also simplifies a lot the construction of different projects. This is truly natively 5 volts. A lot of the other 32-bit uh, processors on the market, they have to use level shifter. But this is a truly 5 volt, so you can use any shield that you already have. Or you can use this connector and just get some sensor modules. Wi-Fi, so you can do connected products, Bluetooth. And yeah, one of the interesting things that both boards have is that this processor also has HID capabilities. So you can simulate a mouse, you can simulate a keyboard, uh, you can also probably simulate a game controller. A number of other 8-bit boards that we had are now converging onto this. Yeah, it's a 32-bit Cortex-M4. It's a quite efficient and effective um, ARM processor. We've done some benchmarking with the old 8-bit Arduino. In some benchmarks, this is like 200 times faster, but obviously some, you know, 32-bit numbers, multiplication, whatever, that kind of operation are massively accelerated by the processor. And also you get this little connector here. You can actually do low-level debugging on this board. So with the new Arduino IDE, you will eventually be able to step through the code uh, real time by communicating real time with the processor in a lot of uh, educational settings people want to be able to debug the code uh, low level arduino uno r4 it's interesting because the processor is a number of unusual feature for this kind of board and one of them is the ability to connect to a CAN bus, and the CAN bus is the one that most of the cars use internally to get all the components connected to each other. The indicators on your dashboard, they receive messages from the onboard computer. You connect to that bus, you can send messages around. The car manufacturers think that these messages are secret, but effectively they are all very well documented. So you can build harmless projects like uh, put LED strips in your car and every time you accelerate uh, they do some kind of an animation and every time you brake they turn red or whatever and so when you read the messages it's not dangerous if you send the wrong message to the wrong part of the car you can do really bad thing so I would stay read only and enjoy Are you going to lower the price on the R3 or is it going to be... For now it stays as it is. Uh -huh. There's still a lot of people who will need that because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes people put Arduino Unos even in products. So if you have a product that works perfectly with the Uno, you know, a made investment on software that only runs on that, there will be people that will still buy the Uno R3. Yeah. But obviously we say, I would say that anybody else should just up upgrade to this one. Yeah. So I think this makes a very affordable very simple replacement for the classic Arduino and this one is just a supercharged version but it's still very uh, competitively priced.